Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we have a brand new game engine. The world can always use more game engines. More! Give me all the game engines. But this one, first we're going to talk about an old game engine. That's what you see right now. This is, well right now it's Unreal Engine, but right now it's Dagger Engine. Dagger Engine, uh, last year they created a side-by-side uh, -side to show Dagger Engine versus Unreal Engine. I'll show you where you can get these projects in just a minute by the way. But they released this demo showcasing what Dagger Engine is capable of and they're comparing it directly to the rendering of Unreal Engine. And you gotta admit, it looks pretty darn good. Now, Dagger Engine has been around for quite a while. Why is that? Well, this is the in-house game engine of Gaijin Entertainment. Who are Gaijin Entertainment? They are the makers of War Thunder. Now, you've probably heard of War Thunder, if only just because it keeps being made into the news, because people keep stealing classified documents and sending them to Gaijin to get them to make their tank get buffed, etc. It's insane, the stories around this one. Google it if you want to laugh, because the stories behind War Thunder are insane. But it is a multiplayer online war game, very similar to World of Tanks. Those are two direct competitors in this space. A very successful game still has uh, tens of thousands of concurrent active users as we speak. They've also made other games such as Enlisted and Cursed, and those were all made using the Dagger game engine. Now, the Dagger game engine itself was actually open sourced uh, two years ago, I think it was. Cool thing here, it is up on GitHub. You see, check out the license. It is under the BSD3 clause license. Um, that is a legit open source license. Now, parts that it's dependent on, maybe not necessarily as open source, but the source code itself, all that way. So you can see the details of how to build it, how to set it up, everything you need to get going, and where you probably want to start if you want to go ahead and check this one out, because this is a, a very non-trivial and really lightly documented engine. You're going to probably want to go through the samples, or again, what we were just looking at earlier on, um, that is available as a uh, showcase they released. So you can actually download uh, the, the Dagger Engine version of that and then the Unreal Engine version of it, and then a fork of a Dagger Engine to actually get up and running and check these things out. So if you want to go ahead and check out uh, Dagger Engine compared to Unreal Engine, they've got this apples to apples comparison option out there, but we're not really talking about Dagger Engine anymore. Well, kind of, it'll come back for sure, because it is relevant to the story. We have a new game engine from Gaijin Entertainment called Eden Spark. So Eden Spark will open a new path for indie developers on consoles. So they've got some details of Indie Spark here in this video. Um, it doesn't it doesn't show too too much, but you get an idea of where they're going with this. So you're going to be able to create uh, 2D games, 3D games, and so on. But this is built on top of the Dagger Engine. But on top of that, it is also going to be an open source project. Very interesting in that regard. So, uh, Gotcha Entertainment is proud to unveil Eden Spark, which is interesting because Spark was the name of uh, Microsoft's uh, game engine as a game that they did on Xbox years ago. And there's certain similarities there that we'll get back to in just a minute. So this is the first open source platform, says platform, not game engine, another thing to be wary of, that lets independent developers make their games accessible to console users hassle-free but truly own the code of their creations. Closed beta testing begins in November, so next month, as of when this video is recorded, with a full release planned for 2026. So this is coming next year, beta later on this year. It gives individual game creators an easy access to consoles, even without a registered company or costly legal paperwork. Uh, anyone will be able to turn their ideas into a game and share it with friends on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. However, so it's kind of like Fortnite, but where it's different than Fortnite is at the same time, uh, unlike closed ecosystems offering similar experience, Fortnite, Roblox, etc., um, Eden Spark developers will retain full ownership of their game. This means that creators can keep their own project inside the community, or if they wish, self-publish independently, taking their work anywhere. This combination of accessibility and freedom is unique. Major uh, engines might offer professional flexibility, uh, but either they don't help you being a bring, by the way, that's a typo, bring games to consoles, uh, audience fast and easy, or are not available under FOSS, which is free and open source software, or neither. Eden Spark bridges that gap. Now, it actually sounds kind of in the same space as like um, Sandbox, which I covered a couple months back. Uh, Eden Spark is designed to lower the barrier to game development and ignite the inner creativity of each gamer that ever dreamed of creating their own thing. Experienced programmers can dive deep into code while complete newcomers can rely on AI-assisted tools uh, to generate art, sound, and gameplay logic, or simply build worlds, world, worlds using plain prompts. This part is starting to sound a little 
call uh, VC capital bro, venture bro to me, but we'll see. Um, it is powered by Gagin's Dagger engine, which is why the whole preamble to this video. Uh, the proven technology uh, powering blockbusters titles such as War Thunder, Enlisted, and Active Matter, ensuring professional-grade performance for projects of any scale. Uh, journey begins in November 2025 when EdenSpark will enter closed beta with access to a number of game prototypes and the opportunity to upload personal projects. By the summer of 2026, the platform will officially launch as version 1.0 with stable APIs and full AI-assisted integration, uh, while the fall will bring the release of Eden Spark's source code for PC, along with official support for Xbox and PlayStation. The full roadmap uh, is available at Eden Spark's official website. Now, do note it's going to be open sourced on PC only. Uh, from the looks of things, the, the Xbox and PlayStation implementation still proprietary NDA stuff, so they can't get around that completely. So it is more than just another game creation kit. Um, it's the first platform that truly opens consoles to solo developers while guaranteeing they remain the owners of their games. Whether you want to share a funny prototype with friends or build a career as an independent studio, Eden Spark gives you both the tools and the freedom. Eden Spark has already been used to prototype a wide variety of projects from charming pixel art games and experimental racing titles to modern military shooters with AAA grade visuals. They're featured in the Eden Spark trailer and will be available to download as soon as the closed beta starts. There is now an Eden Spark homepage you can see right here. Again, that same video from before. So everyone can create games. It's going to be under permissive open source license. Easy to get started. Suit for experienced developers and newcomers. Um, use AI tools to, to unleash their creativity. Uh, but you can still code, thank goodness. So you can code from scratch uh, using AI-assisted art and sound or craft games with simple prompts, tapping the potential of your original art or stories. Uh, they've got a, a screenshot here. So let's zoom in as much as we can. So here it is, a little fuzzy. So you can see it's the Eden engine. Um, so typical scene graph over here, typical project uh, assets over here. And you can see it looks like it's a, an entity component type setup because, uh, or at least it's component based. You can see here like a rigid body and so on are all being attached to this game entity. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Eden Spark. Now, there's not a lot more going on here on this page. So you get access to the consoles, you get instant feedback, people can play with it. It is built under the Dagger engine. Uh, and then they've built some prototype games using it. I think this is actually using the assets that we we're just looking at in that demo level. So that is the, oops, let me go back. All right, show me your media. Where's the next button? I have no idea. All right, so there you can see, oh no, it's, it's individual. All right, so we got uh, first person shooter style. Uh, we have a top-down shooter style. Uh, we have a Christmas game that they've created. Uh, simple platforming style game. It's cool to see that they've got this 2D stuff and then a 3D tube thing. In terms of how long these were taken to build, so two to three days for one person on that one, uh, two days for one person on that one, uh, a few days for one person, uh, one person two months, and then six months, it's an ongoing project. So again, this is, uh, I think, all built off of that other demo project they're building it up. And you see a bit of a roadmap of where they are going with this guy. So November, that's when the closed beta starts. Uh, access to existing games, ability to create and publish your own games. December, you're going to get a PvP shooter demo and uh, hot fixes. Uh, February, you're going to get open beta testing. Uh, and then the AI powered asset management assistant is going to come online then. Spring, we're gonna get network protocol for multiplayer games and development of testing instruments. Uh, and then summer version one, uh, and then API will be stable at that point, so it won't break. Uh, publisher dashboard improvements, leaderboards, catalog and filtering, etc. And AI assistant release. Uh, at that point in time. And then 2026 is when we're going to get source code on the PC version and the ability to release Xbox and PlayStation games. Now, do keep in mind, this is all built on hope and optimism. So who knows what's actually going to happen there. Now, one thing I'd be remiss in not mentioning while we were here, there is another open source game engine out there built on top of Dagger Engine called New Engine, Now Engine. Uh, it, it's um, a Russian project. It actually started off kind of from the government, which is kind of why I stayed away from from it. But since then, it has gone away from that. It is now an open source project. And again, this is built on top of the Dagger engine as well. So if you're interested in learning more about that one, that engine is out there. But that's a topic for a completely different day. Uh, so it's Gaijin made it all. Um, again, they make War Thunder enlisted, etc. And now they are making a brand new game engine uh, that is called Eden Spark. I probably shouldn't say game engine, although it sounds like it, it's going to be capable of publishing standalone games. There's, again, the most similar thing I can think of right now is Sandbox. But this seems to be competing with the likes of Roblox and Unreal uh, for Fortnite. 
Uh, but I think the fact that you can publish your own games outside of their platform does make it a full-on game engine to me. So let me know what you think of Eden Spark. Are you enticed by the idea of like a AAA game engine with this layer of uh, AI-assisted tooling and ease of use, etc., on there, or does that part turn you off completely? I, I do find it interesting that it's actually got um, 2D games. A lot of the highlights, the samples that they showed here, games created with it, a lot of them were 2D-based games, and a lot of times these things just don't do that stuff. So it looks like it could be more of just a general game engine available. Again, it's totally reminding me of Sandbox. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is is it. Eden Spark Game Engine. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.